relax, cupcake. It was a joke. What is this human food of cupcake that you call me? <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Hello, hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. Welcome back to another episode on Pineapple and Lemon. That's us. Woohoo! <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Okay, today I am taking you on a journey. Where are we going? To space. Whoa! <laughs> the final frontier. Yes, we're going pretty far out. We're going one. far out there because we're watching <laughs> Star Trek, the 2009 version. The J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams. Our yes. boy. Uh, would you care to explain a bit of your history with Star Trek? Okay, <laughs> actually... I am a Star Trek fan. However, it's very like specific. I really like the remake films. You like the J.J. I Abrams. like the J.J. Abrams films. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to call myself a Star Trek fan when I haven't actually watched the originals and I haven't watched any of the TV uh, series, even though they come highly recommended and they will eventually end up on my watch list at some point. So my father had all the original Star Treks on VHS mm -hmm. and I would like catch glimpses like here and there. But then when this one came out, um, I remember going to see it in theaters with my dad and I was just like hooked. Yeah. It was like the graphics, the music, the acting, like I was so into it to the point that I remember when the second one came out, I was like, dad, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. <laughs> and I, I clearly remember seeing it in IMAX with my dad. And it was just like the best experience ever because you're sitting on the edge of your seat at the back of the theater. So everything <laughs> was massive. You're like, oh my God, this is <laughs> wild. I'd say the second one is probably my favorite one, wow. but um first one's definitely a really good go-to mm -hmm. but that's like that's my history with it i'd say i'm pretty much in the same boat as you in terms of i have not seen the original series or any of the other tv shows there are so many of them mm -hmm. <laughs> it is definitely something i want to do at some point and maybe we should do at some do point the show yeah. original series maybe next generation maybe voyager i don't know i don't know but i have only seen like a, a few episodes here and there from the original series I have only seen the first two movies from J.J. Abrams, so I haven't seen the third one. Mm -hmm. I feel like for me, Star Trek is this huge, giant thing that I just don't have a lot of knowledge about. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if I ever were to watch it, it would be right up my alley. So it's one yeah. of those things where it's a big time commitment. That's probably mm -hmm. why I just haven't done it yet. So definitely let us know which version of Star Trek is your favorite because maybe we will check out certain TV shows mm -hmm. down the road. For those of you who haven't seen this version, so the J.J. Abrams version, I have the IMDb synopsis here for you. Mm -hmm. The brash James T. Kirk tries to live up to his father's legacy with Mr. Spock keeping him in check as a vengeful Romulan from the future creates black holes to destroy the Federation one planet at a time. So should we set our phasers to stun and start this thing? I say a letter rip. <laughs> letter rip. Punch it. Guys, I'm so excited. We're going to start right at the couple second mark here. And the music just gets you. Guys, music is by our, one of our favorite composers <laughs> on this channel. Michael Giacchino. 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 I'm going to get his name Giacchino. right. One of these. Giacchino. G uh, Michael. So J.J. Abrams and Michael Giacchino are famous duo. Yeah. From Lost. Our lost Our viewing. Lost saga. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe fans <laughs> of the oh music here. Gosh. And we're going to have to do a, do a podcast for film scores. I got that yeah. on my list. Or just do one on his and just, you could break ooh, down like. We could. Honestly, guys, give us your top composers and we'll do, we'll have to do like a <laughs> breakdown here. <laughs> Flair. Flare. So JJ Abrams. <laughs> There's a flare. <laughs> the camera flares. <laughs> Look, I get it. It's kind of a joke at this point. We're not going to bring it up the whole movie, but no, yes, we won't. At the time, lens flares and JJ Abrams was kind of a big deal when this movie yes. just came out. <laughs> also, we got a baby boy Hemsworth in this too. Baby boy. One of his first roles right one of his earlier roles i don't yeah. think it was quite his first role but it was one of his earlier roles and it was only for a very short period of time yeah it's really just this opening scene and it's the same for jennifer morrison who plays uh kirk's mom mm -hmm. she's only in this opening scene as well i mean for the short period of time that they're in it yeah they know what they're doing yeah. <laughs> It just mind boggles me. Like, look at, my, look at the size comparison. <laughs> like, that looks like a little teeny tiny insect versus this big ship. But then in reality, if you try to put a person next to it, it's like, 
itty bitty itty bitty <laughs> microscopic <laughs> and i mean like clearly i'm not the go-to person to talk about star trek knowledge but when they were making the series they would use miniatures mm-hmm. so that kind of effect but using it more with cgi it still like mm-hmm. gets the scale across it does it does and i will go like you know for a, sh- a franchise that started up way back in like the the 60s mm-hmm. the continuity yeah. is amazing like they they keep very similar styles and feels but but with like a slight modern twist Mm -hmm. walk with me i really do like the way that they um they reintroduced star trek to a younger audience Mm -hmm. in a way trying to find a way that this doesn't come out the wrong not in a cool way but like (laughs) growing up it was one of those like star trek and star wars were all like on like the nerd side of things and it wasn't like pop culture and like people didn't really want to associate with it but then they started bringing in more remakes like they were starting to bring out like star like reboots of star wars they re- then they rebooted star trek and it became more pop culture yeah looking at this movie when it came out was right kind of around that time that bubble burst of like these kind of things like nerdy things superhero mm-hmm. things comic things became mainstream mm-hmm. so it's funny that like yeah this movie was marketed for people like us at the age we were at like <laughs> yeah so if this movie hits with you it's because it was literally made for you to get you into this franchise yeah so. do you know the location of ambassador spock do you think people were like yeah spock, spock! <laughs> Woo! I think it was definitely like <laughs> to bring in the original audience was that was the hook that they needed was to have like a familiar mm-hmm. face to see like, oh, this is in the same like universe. It's not a standoff kind yeah. of thing. So it's like, yeah, we're, they're really trying to like, this is for the new people, but you also have to have everybody else on board too. Mm-hmm. I need you to go now. Do you hear me? How do we think his, his American accent's going? I mean, I probably didn't know in 2009 when this came out. <laughs> I think he does it well enough. Like, it's not, like, dropping left, right, and center. But he does have, like, a deeper voice, too, right? I don't know, because, like, his Thor voice is, like, such a put-on voice. Because it's very, like, like, I'm Thor, you know? (laughs) So it's different (laughs) than what he's trying to do with this role. Tell me about it. Well, he looks like a baby. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, his personality, let me tell (laughs) you. Seems to be a real outgoing kid so far. (laughs) Might be a troublemaker. We don't know yet. (laughs) What are we going to call him? We can name him after your father. I don't want to call him dad. <laughs> <laughs> father? <laughs> Jim's pretty quiet for having a full blast of light on his eyeballs as a baby. Very quiet baby. <laughs> What's the secret? <laughs> Is it the blasts of light? Is it the impending danger? Yes. <laughs> Noted. I'm going to... What are you going to do? <laughs> Guys... There's your Star Trek logo. Star Trek logo, Star Trek main theme! <laughs> Get hyped! Pull over. Pull over. Okay. <laughs> oh, I did what you told me to. <laughs> <laughs> Technically he did pull over down a side road. <laughs> For the volume. I would not do well on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> the, the math. <laughs> the math. <laughs> Maybe you could pull up like a like a Netflix show or something. I wonder, <laughs> could I watch Netflix in my pod? 360 pod. <laughs> I presume you've prepared new insults for today. See, I wish I would have watched this as a kid, so then I could have used that on the kids that bullied me. I don't think that would have helped you <laughs> pulling out a Star Trek line. If I put my eyebrows like that, it might help. There, Yeah, and if you had your hair cut like this too. I mean, most kids <laughs> did back then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, someone lost a shoe. Yeah, you can't lose that. Use the shoe. (laughs) (laughs) Don't lose it. Use it. (laughs) Be resourceful. Come on. (laughs) Marrying your mother was logical. (laughs) Logical. (laughs) Womp womp. How romantic. How did you two meet? Well, (laughs) logical. It was a logical thing to do. (laughs) May I ask a personal query? Anything. He's so polite when talking to his parent. Well, you got to be nice to your mom. I don't think I've ever heard a child talk to their parent like that. How old are they supposed to be right now? <laughs> I don't know. Like 30s maybe? Uh, do people walk like that? I was kind of hoping she'd be on roller skates. It just had It kind of feels like she's on roller skates. Yeah. Like I don't think people walk that bouncy. No, but it, it has that kind of like old school diner vibe. There's a lot of drinks for one woman. <laughs> Agony! <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he was in it. <laughs> You at least want to know my name before you completely reject me? You're just talking over this dude in the middle, eh? I know, right? 
I love this guy. He's so funny. He's just like observing the conversation. He's like, I've had a long day at work. I just want to come over. I just want my beer. Like, have a drink. Relax, cupcake. It was a joke. What is this human food of cupcake that you call me? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> he always makes the same stupid face. When he gets punched. <laughs> what other face are you supposed to make? I don't know. He just makes the same one. Shot for shot. Hit him with the smolder. like <laughs> Blue steel. <laughs> Outside. Because he's the president of the United States. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> you can be an officer in four years. You can have your own ship in eight. What can I get in 12? What about 24? <laughs> I love that it's a salt shaker. <laughs> Honestly though, why don't you have one of these? <laughs> I don't know why I don't. <laughs> I like his bike. Boom, 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 boom. It's quiet. You it's like sleek. that it's quiet? No, it's also really sleek. And like cool? And cool. But it's also quiet. <laughs> it's quiet. <laughs> Number one quality of a motorcycle. I don't like that. <laughs> He's gonna have to leave it behind. I'll take it. <laughs> Sneaks into Starfleet just to steal the motorcycle. <laughs> Cheers. See, he just giving it away. He's just giving it away. <laughs> three. That changes my timeline though. Three years, seven years. Well, do the math. I can't do the math pod, so. <laughs> <laughs> it means fear of dying. Is you? you want to talk about different sounding voices? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely had to drop his uh, his <laughs> accent for this. Uh. Ex-wife took the whole damn planet in the divorce. All I got left is my bones. What a way to get your nickname. I know that's <laughs> where it comes from. Like. <laughs> What if he had said, like, all my wife left me were the clothes on my back, and they're like, hey, back. Like, what? <laughs> I think I love you. That is so weird. Probably one of the worst things you could say. <laughs> right? That is so weird. Yeah. Do you imagine the next time you're like, our partners come in, they're like, I love you. I'm like, that is so weird. Yeah. It's not even like good or bad. <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> so should we, I don't know, fire back? No. He brought an apple just for that reason to make a very pronounced statement. Right? <laughs> Where would he have pockets for that apple? He tucked it in the chair. Okay, even just better. Out. Yep. <laughs> We've received a distress call from Vulcan. It just kills me that like someone like Tyler Perry just like sneaks on in here. He does that though, where he just takes these like usually like supporting roles in like more dramatic films. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, yeah, he is like an actor. But all I picture is Medea. Yeah, and he does his own thing too. Yeah. <laughs> like, Medical code states the treatment. <laughs> He's really feeling it. <laughs> There's the agony. <laughs> okay. I'm really restraining myself right Very now. Very nice design here. Super sleek. Slick. USS Enterprise. <laughs> and now hold up a second. <laughs> Pretty embarrassing for that to have happened. <laughs> I kind of like it though, because it's very real. Like, you gotta remember that a lot of these people are still students. Yeah. But man, what a time for it to have. Everybody's watching you. <laughs> Everyone just looks like, are we good? Are we going? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Agony! It's <laughs> quite the reaction. Really fling your arms around so we can see your giant hands. <laughs> flail! Gotta flail my arms around! <laughs> Can't wait to kick some rummy in the ass. Way too eager. <laughs> guys, split them up. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's been waiting for an opportunity. <laughs> He's gonna mess it up somehow. That's like the only way to do it. Like, no second guessing. It's like, whoop, Yeah, you go. don't have a chance to think. It's like, and gone. Honestly, they're lucky any of them make it out of this. <laughs> Honestly, this is so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you need that hand-to-hand -hand combat. Honestly. Not my phaser. My favorite phaser. <laughs> Shouldn't have brought my lucky one. How is he being outmaneuvered by a guy hanging on for dear life? How is he still hanging on for that long? <laughs> I don't... I mean, maybe he has the upper body strength. I sure as don't, so... Their blood is green. It's good facts to know. Mm -hmm. Saving that for my pub trivia night. Star Trek only. <laughs> and you'll be like, well, I got the films, the new three films. <laughs> that's all. That's Don't know the rest. <laughs> that's my knowledge base. <laughs> Decades worth of knowledge I do not have. <laughs> <laughs> Hug me, brother. <laughs> Hold on. How's he going to climb up that? <laughs> Magic. It's steep. Maybe they're like Vulcans are super climbers. Yeah. 
and I said they cut away so we couldn't tell how he did it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's in the special features. <laughs> I'll never get why she was like standing yeah, so far in front. Yeah, she could have taken a step or two back. It would literally okay. two steps back. Did she just press the emergency stop button? <laughs> she did. We're gonna need some time in here to talk. <laughs> Stuck in the elevator trope. Where I come from, this is. I don't understand the water. Like this just feels like a really bad accident waiting to happen. I don't know if like you know how some things need water for like a current base something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the swimming pool had a leak and it got in. <laughs> or maybe the hot tub. Yeah. They need at least three hot tubs on this <laughs> space. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> on this ship. They've been on here for how long? They got to find a way to relax, right? Yeah. It's a yeah. long time to wait. Yeah. A hot tub. I can get behind that. 25 years, you get three hot tubs. <laughs> there you go. You get to 30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get another swimming pool. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of hunting Nero down. Security. He really has no authority to be speaking <laughs> like that here kirk yeah yeah no he's just a loud mouth yeah <laughs> remain in your pod nope <laughs> instantly exits pod <laughs> okay bye oh, i don't know how you're doing that bro my hands would have been for he needs that vulcan climbing power <laughs> he must have it is it nymeria that's what happens when you don't feed her <laughs> yeah <laughs> Leonard Nimoy! Like, Woo! Woo <laughs> I remember this was in like the theaters. Everyone went wild. When they were marketing for this, did they say he was going to be in it? I think they tried to keep this pretty top secret. Yeah. And I am kind of glad they did because it made it the theater experience so much better. The supernova destroyed Romulus. Well, this is why you don't make promises. Ever. <laughs> Ever. You say, I will try. I will do my darndest. <laughs> I will try my best. <laughs> but I cannot make a hard promise because if I fail, this situation will happen. <laughs> yes. I will create a paradox. <laughs> <laughs> promises are not meant to be kept. <laughs> Nero was waiting for me. 25 year head start. Can really plan a lot in that amount of time. <laughs> yeah, he... Did the whole interior design of a ship with two swimming pools and three hot tubs. Yes. <laughs> because he deserves it. <laughs> he deserves it. It's because you haven't discovered it yet. Paradox, paradox. Right? <laughs> Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Simon Pegg's in a Doctor Who episode. <laughs> right? <laughs> you can't come with me. <laughs> I love those two together. <laughs> Live long. And prosper. Salute. Salute. <laughs> I'm glad we're people that are able to do the salute because I know some people can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you remember when this first came out? Everyone was trying to do it and they're like, eh, eh, my fingers, the fingers split. fingers don't work. <laughs> Scott, can you hear me? When you were a kid, mm -hmm. did you ever like watch, you know, like Jaws or whatever, or a scene like this where someone was like submerged in water? Did you like hold your breath to see if you could hold your breath as long as the character did? I would do that, but then there's like, like there's no, no. way. <laughs> Even because I think about it too, it's like life or death. Okay. Right? So like you're really pushing it. It's not something you train for. No. <laughs> I'm not training to be able to hold my breath for five minutes in case I'm in this type of situation. <laughs> See, they should have put that water in a hot tub. It would have gone a lot better. Right? <laughs> Come with me. Cupcake. Oh, he's been holding on to that one Bro, for years. Bro, it work when you say it. Three years in the making. Uh. You will answer me. I'd rather not take sides. <laughs> I am <Whoa>. neutral. <laughs> the little smirk. <laughs> I just got here. <laughs> you never loved me. Ah! There we go. Rage, rage. Of course, I love Winona Ryder. She was my mother. No one's gonna call it. Tap out. <laughs> Tap out. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone gonna help him? <laughs> Someone get him a glass of water. <laughs> They just spilled all the water. <laughs> <laughs> no more water. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, Scotty, give me your coat. I'm freaking yeah. out. <laughs> I like this ship. <laughs> <laughs> He's had nothing to do for six months. So. <laughs> right? You asked me once. We remember. Why I married your mother. I loved her logically. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? 17, sir. <laughs> How is he even allowed to be here? 17. Highly intelligent. I know, but not yet like a full adult. Maybe wherever he's from, he's an adult. Maybe he got a permission slip. <laughs> His parents signed off. Yeah. Look at that poster pose. Everybody get in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Tilt your shoulder this way, angle yeah, this angle, way. Angle. <laughs> Work your angles. 
Sí. Two adversaries becoming friends. With a right smack. <laughs> what kind of smack? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's for the sequels. <laughs> I'm gonna have to listen to the soundtrack tomorrow. You're just gonna be blasting it on your way to work. Honestly, though, you're like, I am in the Starfleet. I am flying the Enterprise. <laughs> Going down a 60 kilometer road. <laughs> you're like, I'm at warp speed. <laughs> Punch it. <laughs> <laughs> so clueless agony <laughs> he did not pick up on it none at all i mean they were like really subtle yeah but still it's been, like the longing glances yes. and like you know the favoritism the whole thing they couldn't avoid it scotty do i trust you he warped into a tank of water so Maybe he's figured it out now. <laughs> Shouldn't be a soul in sight. Nobody. The whole crew is present. <laughs> Nobody's here. <laughs> Phasers are not set to stun. <laughs> Phasers barely had a chance to warm up. <laughs> See, this is why we get things prepped before we energize. Because <laughs> we never know what we're going to get tossed into. It's like playing laser tag. <laughs> I think the outcome's a little different. <laughs> Oh, a thousand percent. But now I kind of want to go and play laser tag, but like everyone's name is like a member from the Enterprise. Yeah. At least this chair is somewhat padded, but it's like a triangle back. I don't think that's the best for you. I don't think that'd be comfortable at all. Do I get one of those like scorpion chairs? Scorpion these, chairs? Have you seen those? No. These, they're like high tech computer chairs. It has like the computer monitor like coming over. Oh, jeez. It's all in it's one. It's like an all in one thing. Nero, order your men to disable the drill or I will. <laughs> Not my lucky phaser. Again. <laughs> Again. I just got a new one. It's like maybe he needs to have like, you remember when we were kids and we had like the mittens that had the string? <laughs> so they don't get lost. They the don't phaser. Get lost. <laughs> he needs that for his phaser. It's like the Wii motes when you have the little cord. The, little string. <laughs> the safety string. <laughs> See, he makes the same stupid face. I don't know what other face you want him to make. I just remember like when after this came out, like that was like a really big thing was like, everyone just kept commenting on like, he always makes the same face when he gets punched. I don't know what variations you want. <laughs> Maybe I'm asking for a lot. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna land on that bridge. Someone's gonna have a bad commute to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Just oh, missed. Oh, just missed. Just missed the San Fran bridge. <laughs> Ooh. I got no strings to hold me <laughs> down. <laughs> I got no strings. <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> How did he catch himself? Magic. Would have ripped your shoulder. Magnets. <laughs> <laughs> They're not bracelet. actually human. <laughs> <laughs> My life's work. 25 years! Three hot tubs, <laughs> two pools, <laughs> and one scorpion chair. <laughs> to survive without assistance, which we are willing to provide. Hmm. Are we? <laughs> uh, sidebar, real quick. <laughs> I would rather die in agony. In agony! agony. <laughs> <laughs> yes! What if he just got back sent to his original timeline <laughs> and then no! it's a loop? <laughs> Simon Pegg is just like tech guy now in like Mission Impossible and Star Trek. I know. It's kind of funny. I love it. I would like to know how the ship is still intact after that big explosion. <laughs> it was just bathed in light. There wasn't anything else. <laughs> it was just light. <laughs> just a really bright light. <laughs> That's it. That's all. <laughs> the ship's blue now. <laughs> <laughs> it comes back as glowing. <laughs> <laughs> They're all radioactive. <laughs> Earth. <laughs> The final frontier. <laughs> <laughs> These are the voices. <laughs> Does this not ruin something? Not supposed to meet yourself? No. Spock was BSing. <laughs> Put aside logic. Do what feels right. No more logic. No more rules. Woo! Freedom! Spock goes crazy. <laughs> the sequel. <laughs> and reflect utmost... Medea! <laughs> <laughs> I think it would have been better if it was Medea. I'm okay with this version. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with it. It's great. But having seen Medea, I can't get it out of my head now. Celebrations! 
I know, like, in the end, it all worked out fine, but he still broke so many rules to get here. Right! And they're rewarding him for it. How is this fair? Respectfully, I would like to submit my candidacy. Too late. Declined. <laughs> <laughs> Already found somebody else. Very nice wrap up there. You get the final... JJ Abrams. Final words. Here we go. Okie dokie. That's Star Trek for you. I watched this movie when it was out originally and then I've seen the movie on DVD like maybe once so it's been a good amount of time since I've last watched this probably since like 2011 maybe does it hold up to like do you do you is it just as you remember does it worse is it better honestly I only really remembered like broad strokes of it like right obviously Leonard Nimoy like that whole plot of it and like him on the motorcycle showing up like that kind of stuff but like <laughs> those are also in the trailer <laughs> But like plot for plot, it wasn't something that I like necessarily knew everything going into it just because I didn't remember it as mm -hmm. well. But I had a fun time. It's a fun movie for like a science fiction movie too. Star Trek being like the behemoth of a franchise. Yes. This is a way to get into it where again, it just kind of sparks my interest of like- and it's not like it's overwhelming and it's not really like no. in your face with it too. I think it was a very like subtle re-entry, almost comparable to like the reboots of Doctor Who, right? Like yeah. they're kind of like reintroducing you to the franchise and to the characters, the different species. It's not like right in your face mm -hmm. and like information overload. Yeah, and I think through like cultural osmosis, even before I saw this movie or like any Star Trek, I knew of Star Trek. Like, yes, I knew about like the Vulcan live long, live and, long prosper. and prosper and like Klingon language, like things yeah. like that. Like I have heard of and I knew about even before being introduced to it proper. Mm -hmm. So I do feel like that also helps. Maybe kids these days, they might not know as much about Star Trek, but there are a lot of shows out right now even where they're trying to really get it going again. Well, so. even like as like pop culture references, like mm -hmm. the Big Bang Theory too, they did chat, like talk quite a lot about yeah. Star Wars, Star Trek and other big fantasy franchises or sci-fi franchises. Mm -hmm. I would say because we haven't had a Star Trek movie since we said uh 2016 yeah i think there was a new release of a new star trek series there's been a few there's been a few <laughs> so it there's still current content coming out mm -hmm. i don't know as someone who wasn't really into star trek prior to watching the film i think the film was a really great way to introduce it in you know a short time frame mm -hmm. to kind of give you a taste of it and then you know you were left like satisfied or yeah. left wanting more it's kind of amazing that it's been around for so long, being a science fiction show, especially. I love that it's multi-generational. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it came out like either, you know, for us as like our grandparents and our parents were really young when it first started coming out. Yeah. So they grew up with it and they got to pass that on to us. So there's not really like a lot of series out there that are that can span. Sure. Yeah. Multis. Right. So it's kind of nice to have that. And I think too with Star Trek, a lot of it can be, like in the movie, it's more like action oriented, but I think mm -hmm. the show has a lot more, it makes you think about things of, there's thought experiments and there's a lot more to do with like humanity and how we react mm -hmm. to our surroundings and things like that, as opposed to just necessarily like explosions. So yes. I think you can yes. do a lot with a little and with a little, I mean, like, of the time with a budget of that size in, like, the 60s. Like, it's, it's completely different, right? But if the stories are still engaging, I think that's what's important. Mm -hmm. And you have all of space. You know, there's no shortage of ideas mm -hmm. that you can come up with. Yeah. It was a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the never-ending franchise. Like, not in a bad way at all. Mm -hmm. Like, there's just so many possibilities. It's still here. And it's still going. It's kicking. And maybe that means me and you should start watching the original series. I think we got to watch like, you know, we're going to have to find a time to to go back. We got to watch the originals mm -hmm. and then we got to we got to get into the TV shows. Let us know your thoughts about especially the series, because both of us don't really have as much knowledge on that. But yes. also the J.J. Abrams movies. Yes. But yes, let us know in the comments what your thoughts are on the Star Trek franchise. What is your favorite? But yeah, if there's any other science fiction film or television yeah. that you guys are super passionate about, let us know in the comments. We always take everything um, into consideration. We add it to our list. And we'll keep going. Keep watching. Live long and Live long and prosper! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching with us. It's been a blast and a half. Had a really good time. As always, you could like this video or subscribe even better. If you want to see something for us to watch in the future, like a movie or TV show, please let us know in the comments and we'll get on that right away for you. Yeah, yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>
Could you imagine? It was like one of those like bright beam of light, and then they woke up on the island. No. <laughs> We don't need that. <laughs> a Star Trek Lost crossover? No, we're I'm, fine. I'm kind of here for it. Well, no, it's fine. 